Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of trailer explanation. In this video, we are going to cover unit troubleshoot formula errors from the module advanced formulas. Uh, this is the last unit of this module. So here, uh, what we have to do is we have to create a formula field on object case by the name last day of the month. And this uh, field basically going to calculate whatever the last date of a particular month or the current month will be so that's this is the information that it will hold and the return will be a date of the last day of the current month so this is the return so basically it tells us that the return type of this uh, formula field will be of type date so let's quickly launch our trailer playground i've already done over here go to setup and from setup i'm going to go to object manager then in quick find, just type for case, case object. Now here we are going to create a new field, go to fields and relationship, click on new. And I'm going to simply copy this label from here. Data type will be formula, click on next. Label, I'm going to paste it over here. Field name will be auto-populated. Return type, I'm going to select it as date as I have shown you over here that it has to be uh, return the date of the last day of the current month. That's why I have taken the uh, return type as to be date. Click on next. Now here, the formula that we are going to use will be same. So this is the formula that we are going to use. Uh, apart from this, there are slight uh, errors with this formula that we have to rectify in order to save this. So first of all, let's click on checks and text button in order to see what all errors or whether we have at all any errors or not. So click on check syntax and there you go. The error message is coming that there is some syntax error mistake. So the mistake that we have is of brackets. So all the functions over here have complete brackets, but when you come to if condition, this whole if, the end bracket is somewhere missing. So just put on this last bracket. Now here, the formula which is uh, shown over here is something like this. So if formula, if I go to a little bit below and from here for the understanding purposes, I go to if uh, function over here on my right hand side and click on insert selected function. So this will be added up over here. So I've used this here in the sense to explain how this formula is working. So here the logical test value. So the very first thing over here is the logical test. So on based on this logical, the true and false value is going to work. So here, this one is the true. So if this condition is satisfied, that month now is equal to 12. If the month uh, now is 12, then this will work. If at all, this is not satisfied, this is not true, then this condition is going to work. So there is one more error with this formula, which is now. So now function returns the date time value. So let's see if I can show you over here. So yeah, if you see this function now in the function list, you will see that this returns a date time representing the current moment. But as from the challenge, we have noticed that we have to return the date type. So instead of now, we are simply going to use today. So I will just use this today function, which returns the current date. So instead of now, let's just change it to today. Uh, everywhere where now is there, we have to replace it with today. That's all we had to do. And here, uh, this formula is simply calculating the last date. So if it is December, which is uh, signified by the number 12, then this will work. And this is simply going to put on the last uh, year today, uh, year, which is uh, signified by the function today. And this is the month, which has been uh, statically provided over here, month and date. And if at all, it is not December or the last month, which is uh, 12, then it will use the last date uh, 
by using this formula. So I will just give you one example over here. So suppose uh, going by this uh, function over here, date function specified over here, let's add this one by one. So year today, suppose I am considering today's date. So year today is 2022. So this is done. Then coming to month. So month is till here, month today, and we are adding plus one to it. And then after comma, there is this date. So what I'll do is I will separate it by uh, forward slash. And here I'm going to put out the month. So today is 31st of October. So I'm going to use today's month, uh, which is 10, as October is 10 number. Then I'm going to add plus one to it as it is signified over here. So this is going to be 11. And the date, it is statically provided over here, which is one. So I will put over here one. Now this is inside this uh, date function. So I will put this bracket over here. So this is simply we are dry running this formula. Uh, and, and then I will put this minus one. Now what this will do is this is simply going to return me the last date. So this, this is as of now showing 1st of November. When I subtract one from this 1st of November 2022, this is going to give me the last date, which is 2022, 10 slash 31. That's how this formula is going to work in case if it is not December. If it is December, the last month, uh, if it is 12, the month today, then it is simply going to put the December date as it is. So that's all we had to do. I'll just remove everything for dry running this uh, formula field. Now just click on check syntax. There you go. There are no errors. So simply click on next. Uh, make sure system admin is able to uh, see this field. So this checkbox has to be true against system admin. Click on next again. I'm going to keep it on all the page layouts. So just click on save. Now, in order to see this functioning, let's go to app launcher. And here I'm going to open up the case object. So cases over here. Now, the very first record is there, or you can just go to this list all closed cases or any case you can open. I'm selecting this one. Now here, it should display me 31st of August. So there is this free last day of the month and you can see that the last date for October is 31st of October. So 10 is the month, uh, this is the date and this is the year. Now hopefully we should be able to pass our challenge. Let's go to check challenge to one 500 points. Let's see whether we have passed all the parameters or requirements in order to pass this challenge. There you go, this unit as well as this module is completed. See in the next video with another unit or module. Till then, take care and make sure you subscribe our channel. Thank you.